hello welcome all welcome in another important video i hope you all are doing great so in our previous video we saw how to create put bid function which will call function inside of or deployed solid smart contract and put bid amount in ethereums right but we solved the problem of making dynamic value as a bid amount but we have to solve problem of this dynamic address currently the value that we are passing is static so this address value will be dynamic in real life scenarios so user will use his wallet address and he can put amount using his wallet address so for that purpose we have to take help of metamask wallet but before that we have to change one more thing so as you can see if i try to pass string value as a bid amount it is still accepting so for that purpose we have to make small changes in this user interface so instead of using type as a text we will keep this as a number so now this small change itself solve this problem right okay so now let's try to understand what is metamask and how it will help us interacting with our solidity deployed smart contracts so metamask is nothing but a wallet that is helping us to store our ethereums in it and whenever we will try to spend that ethereums it will pop up and ask permissions to send that ethereums in another wallet so we can transfer our ethereums wallet to wallet using metamask so it is just helping us storing our ethereums and interacting with multiple solidity smart contracts so if you want to read more about this you can follow these instructions and get more information about it but for now let's just start with installing metamask so first thing that we need to do is we need to install this metamask extension for chrome so this is a shortcut to open metamask and we can see it this is installed so let's click on it so this is welcome screen we can get started with it metamask gives you two options either you can import your already existing wallet or you can create a new wallet so i'm gonna go with creating new wallet and let's agree on all the terms and conditions and use your password and create new account so now this will give you some videos and this is your password phrase which you need to copy and keep with you unless this entire account creation process gets done so this is sequence of string and I, we have to select these buttons accordingly so the first word will be purchase opinion average and accordingly we have to follow all these words once we have done we have to confirm it and all is done so this is our metamask wallet and as you as you can see as of now we have zero ethereums in our wallet because this particular address doesn't hold any ethereums and we can see we can buy any ethereums from here we can send it we can swap and you can check all the activities that has happened with this account in recent times and that's pretty much it so if we want to connect our ganesh accounts so we can get these accounts so we can see it here we have multiple accounts in ganesh so if we want to connect or use this 100 ethereums account in the metamask we have to connect our metamask with our ganesh so for that purpose let's go inside of ethereum first and add a network so as a network name we are going to add this as a local it's all up to you and this particular url we will get from ganesh we have to copy this url and let's keep http in small cases that's it and then the chain id will be 1337 and this is the default one and we have to we don't have to change anything we don't have to change anything here and let's just click on continue we don't have to specify any block explorer url for now and also we can keep this currency symbol as an empty or else you can keep it as eth since we are trying to add ethereums 
uh, inside of this wallet so let's keep this it and everything is fine let's click on the next so here we have zero ethereum so now we have just add this chain id inside of our wallet so as you can see we have two networks right now we have done with we have just added network still we don't have this account linked with our metamask so for that purpose we have to click on this icon and we have to click on this import account and from here we have to pass private key which we will get from this particular button so i'm going to use this account uh, for link and let's copy this and paste it here so as you can see we got 100 ethereums in our wallet so now we have done with the metamask setup all right so our metamask installation is done and we also have 100 ethereums in one of our metamask account so we can use this account to interact with our solidity smart contracts and put new bid in our blockchain so for that purpose we have to check whether this metamask is installed or not uh, this step is really important because there will be some browsers which will not have metamask installed so we have to verify first if metamask is not installed we will add some custom user interface and ask user to install this metamask first and then only he can interact with our solidity smart contracts all right so for that purpose we have to add one if condition and if we can see inside of metamask documentation and if you can see here we have one method to check whether the whether metamask is installed or not so whenever Meta, metamask will get installed inside of any browser it will add or append new object to the main object which is windows in any browser so we mostly write window dot get element by id so window is the main object for a particular page uh, so metamask add one more object inside of the main object which is nothing but ethereum so once this object is not undefined so that means our metamask is installed so this is the basic logic which we can also use in our case so let's go back and put bid function and we will check whether the metamask is installed or not when user will try to put new bid in when user will try to put new bid all right so for that purpose let's add one if condition here and we will use same logic we have to we don't have to change anything here and everything inside of this put bid function will go if and only if user have installed metamask else we will add console for now but in real applications we will add one condition on, on this particular else we will show user interface for the user to install metamask all right once we verify that metamask is installed we have to check whether any account is available or selected or assigned to our address or not so, okay so whenever we will interact with any website using metamask it will first we have to connect our wallet with that particular website and then only we will be able to transfer ethereums right so for that purpose we have to check whether any account is linked uh, with our address or not if it is not linked we will ask we will automatically pop up metamask and ask user to connect that with our website so for that purpose let's scroll it a little bit down for that purpose we have to call this particular method pop help us uh, to generate pop-up when any account is not linked with our web address all right so let's go back here and we will check if window dot ethereum dot selected when selected address has any value then only we will continue with our method so otherwise we will generate one pop-up and ask user to connect at least one account with our website right so let's console this wait and 
let's put one bracket so that's it with this way we will be able to see whether any account is linked or not and if it is not linked we will ask pop-up okay so let's quickly recap what we have done up to this point we have put bid function which will get triggered as soon as we click on this put bid put bid button so first of all we will check whether the metamask is installed or not using this particular line we will check metamask is installed or not if it is not undefined that means metamask is installed we will proceed further and the next check we have added is whether any account is linked with our web address or not so our website is this which is our web address so metamask will allocate or connect any account if any account inside of this metamask is linked with our website so we will continue with our other functions if any address is not selected that means metamask is not connected with our website so in that case we will ask for pop-up we will ask user to give permissions to connect metamask with our web address uh, with our website right so this is the simple logic and once everything is done we will get this address selected which we will use inside of from so with this way we will be able to make everything dynamic and any user can start interacting with our website now so let's see this in action and we, if we see inside of the metamask our current address is uh, our current address last three words is 320 which is certainly a different account right okay so now as you can see the status is not connected for this website so as soon as i click on this put bid i'm expecting that this particular pop-up will automatically get generated right so let me quickly remove this all right so now this pop-up is closed let me try to put 20 as a bid amount 20 ethereum as a bid amount so if i click on this particular button so now you can see this pop-up automatically got generated so now we have two accounts one account which will have zero ethereum so this is this was a default account and we have second account which has 100 ethereums which we have just configured right so now it is asking us to connect or give permissions for this particular website to interact with metamask so we will click on next and it will give us some other pop-up so let's connect so now connecting is done and if i click on this particular and if i see now you can see it is showing status connected right and if i go on any other website and click on this pop up so now you can see other websites will show not connected status right only this web address has access to interact with metamask now all right so we have we are clear up to this point so now what i will do is i will put let's say i will increase the bid amount let's say i want to put 30 ethereums as a bid amount and if i click on this put bid so as you can see the magic has happened and highest bid amount will be 30 ethereums and the highest bidder is the bidder uh, which has last which address is this and it is the same address we have inside of ethereum so as you can see some ethereums got deducted uh, 30 ethereums got deducted from this account and this is how the connection between metamask and our user interface and solidly smart contracts works anyone who will use this particular web address will be able to interact with a solidly smart contract locally and once we able to deploy this smart contract on main network which is actually ethereum blockchain so we can start interacting with actual accounts and we will receive actual ethereums in our smart contract right so this is just a small demo of how end-to-end -end decentralized application works we just saw 
how to create solidity smart contracts we saw all the fundamentals of solidity smart contracts we saw how to deploy or migrate created smart contracts on local ethereum blockchain we use ganache for that and we saw how to create a react js user interface to interact with that smart contract so now we have this user interface in react js we use web3 to connect or interact with deployed smart contract and be successfully able to make transaction between these accounts all right so now certainly there will be some methods for an example we can use put end time we can use end auction so these are all other methods we can certainly use it and make our application even more functional all right so i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye